which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Put your hand together again and give him praise. Could I take a few minutes? Be seated, please. Could I take a few minutes to advance the last point of my presentation this morning? And this Jesus was lifted up. The Almighty was lifted up on a cross. But he stepped down from the cross to save you and to save me. And there is no other way that we're going to get to heaven or to God but through him. Could I put a, a second touch on, on, the, on the, the interpretation of that scripture? I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. The fact is, the real fact is, he was lifted up, thank God, and there is power in the lifting up of Christ to draw men, but he's not here in person anymore, but we are. So Carl, could it be that it could also mean if you lift me up, and we peddle all kinds of philosophy. And sometimes the world is confused because exactly how they do that thing, the church is copying it and do it. And they're not seeing Jesus. Somebody must show them Jesus. I was the light, but you are also the light. Let the light shine. Lift up Jesus. Don't be ashamed, a coward. Lift him up wherever you go, whatever you say, whatever the conversation, whatever the company, whether they believe or not. Jesus is the way. Lift up Jesus. Come on, somebody say, lift up Jesus. I close when I say there is truth that is eternal and you won't change it. And this is the one that you can't change. There are some others. <laughs> For instance, you could be talking to somebody and they say, you see me? I don't believe in this thing called gravity. I don't believe that. I believe that there is no gravity and I could do where I am what I want to do. So, let's imagine the conversation is going on on the 20th store, a story of a hotel. And the guy say, I don't believe in any gravity. That to me doesn't exist. You see, when God sets his law and God sets his principle, <laughs> You don't argue against it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't remove it. And doesn't remove you from the consequence of it. So the other guy said, okay, you don't believe? Open the window and jump. Hmm. He 
didn't believe, but he wasn't crazy. <laughs> he didn't believe what he said. He believed, but he believed it. Open the window and jump out, and you're going to find out how many of you is left. How much of you is left when you get down on the ground? When Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and you say, I don't believe it, that's all right. But one of these days, you're going to crash. Because this is God's eternal pronouncement. You don't get to me except by him. I am so glad I found this in me, amen. I say I'm so glad the search for me is over. And if the search for you is over this morning, stand up with me and let's take a few minutes and thank God. Hallelujah. I have found him whom my soul so long has craved. Jesus satisfies and magnify the name of Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. If I be lifted up, I'll draw men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. I have found him.
lift your hand up and say, remember me in your prayer. I need Jesus. Lift them up high, please. I would God all of you to do it. I would all, all of you to do it. But as many of you and anywhere you are in the congregation, lift your hand up, please. I'm coming down because I want to pray for you. I believe this is serious business. This is a matter of life and death. So I accept Jesus as my Lord, as my Lord, and as my Savior, and as my Savior. Save me, O oh God. Save me, O oh God. Transform my life. Transform my life. And let Jesus lead me, lead me, and guide me, and guide me, and provide for me, and provide, and protect me, me and protect me for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus.
morning again. Just a few announcements that we want you to be uh, mindful of. Of course, every Tuesday we have our Bible study. Now, Bible study starts at 6.30. Now, for some of us, we are unable to make it here on time, but we tune in online. But for those that are unable to make, those that are able to make it in person, please, 6.30 on Tuesday, you come in and it's really world class. This is really world class stuff, eh? If you don't want to be deceived by all the isms and the schisms, you got to know what truth is. Yeah? So come know what truth is. And on Wednesday, we have our deliverance service starting at 10, 9.30. I had a feeling I was wrong when I said 10. 9.30 on Wednesday morning. And on Friday, we are coming again for our prayer meeting, which is in-house at 7 o'clock, in-house. All right? We want to see our prayer meetings grow. We want to see our prayer meetings grow. So this is an important part of our Christian life, our Christian growth. So please do all that you can to make it on Friday at 7. We have some other announcements and we would have had our Love in Action praise and worship night on Easter Sunday night and God really did work really tremendously here. As we saw people delivered from all sorts of issues and we thank God for the deliverance that has come. We do have a few t-shirts persons would have ordered and not collected. We want you, if you have ordered those t-shirts, please come collect them from Russell after church. And for those that maybe you, you, you forgot or you didn't have the opportunity to order a t-shirt and you want to have something marked love in action afterwards, we want you to come and, and purchase it. One of the things that, have, that has come out of this is that we had an entire barrel full and overflowing of food stuff. And we are able to really help some of our, our families in the community. So our evangelism team 
has taken that on board and as they spread the gospel, we will also make sure that persons are able to eat. Amen? Amen. And for the men, so you are male, you are one of us, we want you to meet with Brother Dexter right after church this morning, please. It's very important that you meet right here in front after church. That there's a very important matter that needs to be discussed and it's time sensitive. So you need to be here right after church. Just three minutes is all he's asking. All right? Um, I see of some faces, some lovely faces that um, I want to say big, 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 big welcome to. Yeah. <laughs> now, those that would have grown up like me in church, you looked at some of these ladies and they were, you know, those were the ladies, Jean-Baptiste and Marilyn. Stannis Claus. Stannis Claus. God bless you. We want you to stand. Let's, let's see what you're looking like. You know, the young ladies is an example. These, people, these ladies keep themselves so well, they don't even look a day older than when you left. God bless you all. God bless you all. Amen. Turning over to pastor now yes. because my announcements are done. Yes. Well, mine is just the beginning. Not as long as yours, but yesterday, over three thousand missiles were flying from Iran to Israel. And without caution, this could have been the beginning of a blow up. The jury is still out. Very obviously something is happening in our world. And while indeed there is no authority given to any man to pronounce a day or year or a decade, there are signposts that are posted along the way as the world, the earth spins, that's giving you warning. Last week we were to begin our Bible study series on the question, is Jesus really coming soon? What does the Bible say? What does the world say? I've got some data from both sources you can't afford to miss. And I want you to come because we start 6.30 sharp. And believe me, the beginning is as good as the ending. Because in order to introduce something that you want to know, you have to have the facts that create the interest for the content, right? So don't come late. I'm asking a favor from my good and loyal and wonderful friends. I love them, the WM. Close on time for me, please. <laughs> on Tuesday, the Lord willing, because we, we come on time and we leave on time, we're looking forward to having you. It's going to be absolutely important. God bless you. We have already made the rest of the announcement. It was so nice having you. Stand up with me, please. Amen. Every now and then I indulge in a little thing that comes to my heart. Just, just, just to close, to satisfy. We say, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you. Oh,
make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance. Grace be upon your family in providing and in protecting. And may the angel of God exercise their ministry to bear you up in your, their hands that you do not dash your foot against the stone. Let this be the experience of all of us, O oh God, because we ask it in the name of Jesus. And everybody says, Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Look right, think tricky, but me still not go lose sight.